We're gonna talk about garages today. We feature, we're gonna feature an A-frame garage, but we also make a barn style garage with a Gambriel roof, same price. So whatever you decide works best for your property or looks best on your property. This one happens to be a 14 wide. We do a 12 wide also. Uh, when you come in, this has diamond plate on there. It is an option, but it does keep from tearing the floor up. This floor is so important. It's gonna be three quarter inch thick tongue and groove, extremely strong. And then if you look down there, it has extra four by fours on the ground for strength and rigidity. And then inside, when we nail this LP smart board down, again, it's treated for mold, mildew, termites, but we put a pressure treated floor joist in there every eight inches. It is an extremely strong floor. I own one of these garages, it's a 24 by 40, and I have over a 7,000 pound tractor sitting on the floor, so it is extremely stout. Come on inside, we'll show you the rest of the building. So on the garages, where the garage door is, we'll put a foot overhang on the end, uh, just to kind of keep you out of the weather a little bit. It would be an option if you want one on the rear for aesthetics on the property and on the side. It'll have a smaller overhang, that way we can make this garage as wide as we can uh, hauling down the road to get it to your property. So on the garage, you're gonna get standard entry door. You're gonna get three windows that are standard in the garage. We can add more or delete. And then in the bigger garage, anything over 20 foot, we'll put a bigger window in it for free. This particular building is a silver line. If you look at the wall, it does have the tech shield. It has the heavy tech shield because it is vinyl. Again, radiant heat barrier reflects the heat off the building, keeps the building 12 to 15 degrees cooler. Uh, you're gonna have a standard garage door, non-insulated. We can upgrade that to insulated, and we have uh, several different style windows we can put in the garage also. This particular building is a metal roof. You can tell by the double bubble insulation. Again, if we do a metal roof on the building, we will put double bubble insulation underneath it for free for you. So wall height on an A-frame, you would get a, we always get asked how high is the wall? It's seven foot tall, okay? And then to the peak of the ceiling is gonna be 11 foot two is how high this building's gonna be. Uh, and then on a barn, uh, the Gambriel roof style, that wall will now be six foot tall, okay? And, but you do have that Gambriel barn roof We'll show you that when we get a barn in, but uh, you still have an 11 foot two peak. We just cheated the wall down, okay? So if you put a loft in a Gambriel roof, you've got a lot more loft space than you would in an A-frame. But we did cheat that wall down on the Gambriel roof. So we get questioned a lot on how big is the garage door. This is a standard size garage door that's on most houses. It's seven foot tall okay and it's nine foot wide okay on the barn garage we can cheat that garage door up about another six inches we order a custom garage door if you need to get a little bit more height okay and then we do offer insulated garage doors in several different styles of windows or just solid